All right, so part two. Uh, the, uh, what the hell was I just saying? Something about when we was looking online. Oh, yeah, when we was looking online. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. There seemed like there was a lot of people that were running these down, saying it's just like a DNA ripoff. But that's not the case. Yeah. The and what, when you... Ones, the DNA ones are thinner. Thinner tubes. They're only like three-quarter inch tubes, and these are one inch. A lot heavier. And that was what? How much that cost you? This, this one? one was $400 even. $400 even. That's ridiculous. Man. Yeah. You can't beat it. That's ridiculous. I can't believe I can't. That's mind-blowing. Might get me one. <laughs> it looked nice. It does look nice. So how much you think you got wrapped up in uh, in uh, everything? By the time I'm done with everything, with the brake and headlight bracket and this little bracket. The only thing is, this little bracket was expensive little sucker. It was $70. Yeah. I'm going to have close to $800 in all of it. Yeah. And well, another friend of mine gave me a front wheel, which I need to turn either the tire around on it because it's set up for a left side brake, and then this, this one's a right side brake. So I got to turn the tire around on it so I'll run the right direction. And also, a nice thing about this is I was looking for fork stops, trying to figure out what I was going to do for fork stops to keep this from flopping over. Yeah. And I got to looking at it, and it has built-in fork stops right here and here oh cute which is nice you don't have to buy them internal ones which are a pain to put on which i don't know anything about but <laughs> that's why i'm talking but yeah that's why i'm liking this front end more and more the more i look at it and find out what it needs and can do <laughs> Dude, that thing is bad. That is so cool. So, is that about it? That's about it. I'll try and uh, put all the uh, part numbers and uh, I'll just try and put in some contact information mm -hmm. for where to get the stuff and but I mean, KC International and Demon Motor, Demon Cycles. I mean, if you're looking this video up, you know what Demon Cycles is. And KC International is a good place to get the accessories. Right. And I tried Gyra too, if uh, they got it in stock. They're another good one. But it seems like lately they haven't been having anything in stock. The only other thing I have to get is fender brackets, which bolt onto the front tubes. But I've got to get them. I'm going with a 21 inch front wheel, which is skinnier than your 16 inch fat one. Mm -hmm. But I got to get those and get them on and then take my fender I have and figure out the spacing between the fender and these brackets because they make another spacer to go in there, but they are different widths. Yeah. And I got to figure out which width one I got to order. Right. So just kind of a measure as you go along type deal all right so anything else you can think of that's about all i can think of all right like subscribe share right um we'll be doing some riding i'm gonna get some new cameras and we'll be going for some rides around and uh do some sports camera stuff or whatever them things are. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting one of them. I don't know. If you like motorcycles and yeah. and loud music. That and, way we can tell you how this thing performs once it's on the bike and on the road. Yeah, and you can keep, yeah, we'll, we'll update you. And we'll probably do some videos when we're putting it on or something like that, you know. Just, and it is going on a 1974 Harley Superglide shovelhead. And then we'll do one on to a uh, 1981 lowrider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Adios.
laid on. 